touching every line. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. Shout fire! somebody's life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I said, Holy Ghost. Fire. Any darkness that followed you. Yes. Even to this place this day. Yes. That darkness shall never appear again in your story. Amen. Your amen is having a problem. Amen. Your amen is waking up. Amen. Your amen is commanding darkness. Overwhelming the darkness. Amen. Your amen is a captain's amen. Yeah. 
Giving glory to God. Amen. What the devil doesn't like yes. is when you are exalting God. Amen. That's why you see everything he's doing is that he's trying to stop anything that glorifies God in your life. Amen. Somebody didn't hear that. I hear. Anything that wants to glorify God, yes. that is the place where the devil will attack. Amen. I'm going to show you some few things that are going to happen today. Yes. Because your glory must shine. Amen. Arise, shine, for your glory has come. come. When your glory comes, yes. the only thing you can do is to do what? Shine. shine. I see you shining. Amen. I say, I see you shining. Amen. You shine in your business. Amen. Your amen is just coming. You shine in your mind. Amen. You shine in your family. Amen. I didn't hear your amen very well. Eh? Amen. I am saying you will shine. Amen. The devil is saying no way, but I am saying you will shine. Amen. Why the backup of what I am saying yes. will work in your life shortly in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout fire. Fire. Put your hands together for Jesus. And sit down in your glorious new position. Wow, praise God. Amen. And from the first service, God has been speaking to us and he gave us a tremendous word. I believe to him who has come the second service now is about to be serviced again. And this service which God is doing now will put you in the place of command. Which means what was commanding your life now must come to an end. Amen. This month God says, I will lighten your candle and enlighten your ways and lighten your darkness. Which means darkness is anything which was disglorifying your life. Which was pushing your life down, causing shame and dishonor. That thing is what God is interested in removing out of your story. Amen. That means that sickness must leave your life. That means poverty must leave your life. Amen. I thought somebody would say amen. Amen. You are poor, but you're not saying amen. God is trying to change it. I'm saying the darkness of poverty must leave your life. Amen. You didn't hear that. I'm saying the strange afflictions around your life now must live your life. Amen. There's something funny in your story that must live your story. Amen. And that's what this morning God is about to do. Remove that thing which is disglorifying your life to put glory in your story. Amen. I see you showing up in the mighty name of Jesus. You will shine. I want to talk about contending for your glory contending for your glory. I want to let you know that the first words I said, anything good in your life is what the enemy is interested in. Whatever wants to bring you up, whatever is a blessing to your life, whatever is speaking goodness, that is where the interest of the enemy is. So, contention is where your glory is available. And every one of us was packaged in glory. As you heard from the first service, Adam and Eve carried glory. But in essence, they were naked. But they didn't realize that they were naked because they were carrying the glory of God. The point to which they realized they were naked is when the enemy attacked their lives. And the moment there was disobedience, their glory disappeared. That is the moment that Adam and Eve discovered that they were naked, which means they had nothing, which means there was nothing to show again. They didn't know 
that they lost their glory. God was interested in returning the glory and God was not tired. I'm talking to a child of God this morning or this afternoon. God is not tired with you. You didn't hear what I'm saying. The enemy has been fighting some people from birth. That's why there are some things you don't have now. There is something you're supposed to be holding. But you're not holding it. There's somewhere you're supposed to be. But you're not there. There's somebody you're supposed to be. But you are not. Because there was an contention with your glory. There are some children born. And after birth, they are blind. Look at blind Bartimaeus. There are some children born, but they are born lame. One limb has a problem. There are some people born, and they are born without intelligence. There are some people born, and they are born without some organs, defective organs. Why? There was contention with your glory. The enemy can see you because your glory can identify you. That's why the enemy went for you before your birth and he took out a limb. He removed part of your glory. He took out your organ. He infected your organ. That's why now you have a defective glory. God has not finished with you. Even if your hand and your limb and your organ has been taken away, God still says, I will bring a solution to that issue. I don't know the issue you are in. There is a contention. And the enemy is contending to take away something from you. And before something is taken again, because there are a lot of things which have been taken from you. Once upon a time, you had money, but right now, you don't have it. That should not be a problem because that's the glory of the earth. The glory of the earth is money. The glory of the earth is wealth. The glory of the earth is houses. The glory of the earth is all these things you see. The glory of God is higher than the things you see on the earth. Somebody didn't hear me. I'm going to put a stress on what was begun in the first service. The glory of God is greater than the glory of the earth. Is greater than the glory of the things you see. What you don't have now can come. And there's a way it will come. And it will come whether it likes it or not. Somebody's not even getting me. You're saying how will I get it? You will get it. I'll show you. There is a secret to anything. I don't care what is contending with your glory. Your glory must come back. They don't want you because you carry no glory. You are rejected because you carry no glory. When you carry glory, then you are attractive. Child of God, girl of God, yeah, boy of God. When you want to marry, seek for the glory of God. Earthly beauty that you are contesting with cannot overtake the glory of God. Somebody can be too handsome, but nobody is marrying them. Somebody can be too beautiful, but nobody is greeting them. In fact, those who greet them are those who are already married. Oh, maybe that's a lie. Why? There is this glory somewhere. Why? There is something absent in your life that should attract the good things. It's called the glory of God. In the world we live in today, and in the moments and times and seasons we are living in now, child of God, things get stolen. People are getting robbed, not just by armed robbers. Satan is the worst armed robber. He robs you without knowing. 
Something in your life went without you knowing. Sometimes you have never discovered you have lost something. Your condition is continuous because you are robbed somewhere. Something left your life. And now everything comes in your life. Anything bad comes. Anything bad answers. That thing, the season is ripe. It will stop. I didn't hear you. Isaiah, look at it, verse 42 and verse 22. If I'm lying, let's prove it in scripture. Isaiah 42 and verse 22 says, says but this is a people robbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, not just robbed. Wow, Pia, wamekua kifungu, wamefungwa. Ni wafungwa. All of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. There's somebody I'm talking to now who is in a prison house of a certain issue. Where we have wasted kutoka, umefungwa ndani ya jela flani. Kwa sababu pana utukufu wa mungu hauna. And they are for a pre. Ooh. God forbid. None delivered them for a spoil. And none say it what? Restore. So, there are some people now who are seated today whose glory must come back because it was robbed. You cannot shine until you have the glory of God back in your life. God said, I have not finished with man. I'm going to fight till man gets back their glory. That's why God said, somebody must come to do that job. And that's the reason why Jesus came. Why? To return the glory that was lost during Adam's times. Witches, wizards, terrible enemies are very violent and they are very good at seeing the stars. The moment Jesus was born, Herod got the story. The moment you are born, the evil one got and saw the story because they can see the star. And the wise men saw the star. I am talking to stars this morning which are about to arise and shine one more time. That's why they said, you are nothing, you are useless, there's somebody crying. Don't cry because there's a solution. What is the solution? The glory of God. Somebody here is going to get a comeback, comeback that is going to make your enemies and unfriendly friends and friends begin to whistle. What has happened? Your glory has come back. Somebody didn't hear what I'm saying. I say your glory is coming back. It's about to show up because Jesus said, I came to bring back that glory which the children of God have lost. Some of them were robbed. They didn't even know. We are living actually in the times and season where it is all contention. The world is full of contention. Me, I'm going to tell you something. The glory of God is available, but contention. There's too much contention. That's the reason why there are things you have not gotten. And you have to contend to get it. That's why the Bible says, and you shall get some things. And not only you can get anything you want. It will not be just by Israel. It has to be violently taken back. Because there is what? Contention. Contention. The devil is contending that you must not get your glory back. You also must contend to get your glory back. The good news is that he who is in us is greater than he who is in the world. That's why you cannot be a victim when you're on God's side. If I am on God's side, who can be against me? If you know scriptures, which is light, you'll become light. That's why you are allowed to contend and fight the enemy anytime. If umezuba kidogo because he's waiting for that. I told you, sasa hivi, kila anachofanya, he is not fighting you direct. No direct confrontation. Kwa sababu utagutuka. Ukigutuka, unanza kufunga na kuomba. 
Sasa apigi vita ina hiyo. Anapiga vita chini ya kwamba anaondoa nguvu ya uwezo ya maombi. He removes prayer slowly by slowly. These days you are prayer life down. You are consuming all the word life down. The Bible you read it only when somebody else is reading it. That's why it's killing it softly, slowly and then after a short while when every god is down it finishes you. Be careful. It's fighting your glory. What was good in your life is no longer there. Am I lying to somebody? What was going on fine and well is no longer going on fine and well. Do you know why? There is glory missing. Somebody's glory is coming back today. Satan now is in a business. What is business? Rip off. Rip. Just take anything from you. If he finds you, take anything from you. Anything. Not the things you think. Listen to me. Devil is not interested in your car and your house. Those are nothing. Those are his. That's the glory of the earth. I'm talking to somebody. You didn't hear me. He's not interested in your car, in your house, in all those things that people count. He's not interested in those ones. Do you know why? Nizake is on his harper. That's the glory of the earth. When he was dropped here, those are the things he collected. When he took Jesus to the hill, what did he tell him after 40 days? He said, if you can just jump down, what will I do? I will give you all these things. He is the Lord of the glory of the earth. Hai musumbui. The things you have doesn't matter. Until your glory is lost. He is seeking for your glory because he who carries the glory of God is too dangerous to the devil. Very dangerous to the devil. When you carry glory and you didn't carry car, you can still see devils running. You can carry car and arrive and no devil will run. Will run. He'll be looking at you and say, come, come, baby, come. But when you carry the glory of God, what happens? When they see you, they begin to run. I pray and prophesy. May you receive the glory that will make all demons in your village run. All the demons frustrating your family, when they see you, they must collapse. They must faint when they look at your eyes. You don't know what about glory. Listen to me. When Moses was going to the presence of God, one day Moses got amused and he said, no, I always come and only hear voice, but I cannot see the one I'm talking to. You remember that story? I can't hear. I mean, I can hear, but I can't see. I have eyes, but I want to see him. And so he said, Father, you have been talking to me for a long time. Now, can you just show up? Let me see a little bit of you. God said, hey, Moses, what are you saying? You know, Moses, you don't know what you're saying because if I just show myself today to you, Moses, you'll be no more. I want to explain to somebody what is the glory of God. If you have understanding, then you know what I'm going. Moses, if I just allow you to see me today, you are finished. Because any moment you see me in my glory, you cannot live. Ah, huh? Moses said, just a little bit. Just a little bit, just to see who I talk to. And God said, all right, Moses, I know you are very, very mesmerized. You are amused. You, are, you, are, you want to know. Okay, I'm going to show you a part of me. Which part did God show him? You don't know it. If you don't know it, shout. He showed him what? Backside. When Moses saw the backside, something happened to Moses. What happened? You don't know? The glory of God came on the face of Moses. Please, I want you to hear me very well. The glory of God came upon the face of Moses. When Moses left the presence of God, even Moses didn't know. He carried glory. He only knew the effect of what he carried when he came to the children of Israel. And the children of Israel had inability to look right in the face of Moses. That's why Moses put a veil. 
They say, we can't see you. Moses, what has happened? Put something. That radiance, that glory, that light. We cannot bear it. And Moses put a veil. I'm asking you. The veil on your nose and your mouth is for what? Oh, sorry. It is actually blocking the glory of God. <laughs> it's blocking the glory of God. What God made is being blocked. And Moses didn't know. So he was carrying that. Now listen to me. When you carry God's glory, there are enemies. There are people who cannot now begin to see you. You don't carry glory. That's why a witch can see you. You don't carry glory. That's why a wizard can see you. You don't carry glory. That's why darkness is pursuing you. Ah, somebody didn't say I hear. You only want me to say where you are. I, when I say receive gold, you say amen, you jump. You know who gold goes to? Gold doesn't appear to anybody who does not carry glory. It is the glory of God that draws gold. You didn't get it. Satan is doing his work. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh to steal, to kill, to rob. Satan is interested in your spiritual values. Do you know now he removed something in your life? called peace. You have no peace now. Do you know what is glory? Glory is peace. Do you know he has removed something out of your story? There is something that is not in your life right now. He removed it. You don't have it. And now you are struggling because you don't have it. When you don't have intelligence, divine intelligence, he removed it. Now you are struggling. He, he has taken away your joy. Now, even your face, nobody can look at it. No joy. He stole it. Satan is interested in virtues, godly virtues. Anything from God, he will rob it from you. And there are very many people today who have been robbed. God is about to return everything you are robbed. Particularly virtuous. Somebody is talking about somebody. No. The thing which was robbed from you. And I'm going to show you some things here. People are being robbed day and night. They are busy. But they are being robbed. Zechariah chapter 3. I'm stressing on what was said in the morning. Verse 1 to 3. What does the Bible say? And it should be Joshua. What was Joshua doing? Joshua, the high priest, where was he standing? Before the angel of the Lord. And he said, and Satan said, and, and before the angel of the Lord, and Satan standing at his right hand to resist him. Now, you see, what I'm saying is that every time you go before God, even now as you're coming, you know, the enemy was resisting. There's somebody who came here by struggles. There's something that just rose up when you are coming. There's somebody when they enter here, they're just angry. That means there is a contention. Am I talking to somebody? There is a contention. And you see, the high priest Joshua went into the presence of the Lord. And he was standing before the angel of the Lord. And Satan was standing at the right hand to resist him. Every time something good is about to happen, the enemy comes to resist. And me, I said what? Contend. Every time. He will be there contending. You want to get a job? He's contending. You want to get married? He's contending. You want to go and pay dowry? He's contending. When I was going to pay dowry, he contended. We walked, we talked, we planned till 1 a.m. And after 1 a.m. I slept because at, by 5.30 we are out. 5.30 I could not lift my head again. Contention. Never. That day I went for my dowry payment. I will tell you a story. 
I bought new shoes in a hurry. I know you like stories. I'll pause that one there. You come and I'll tell you in the office. That day, contention was heavy. I took some shoes. I said I'm going to wear them for a short time so there's no problem. The shoes were pressing my toes. I wore them while we are now going and we walked for some time. While we were reaching, I was walking like and that place you are supposed to look sharp. <laughs> I removed my shoes on the way I walked with my bare foot. I arrived, I put them on, I couldn't think again. There was contention. While we were coming back one day, we went for the second time. Some people paid dowry once. Dowry doesn't end. All right. We went the second time. You have not gone the second time. I will force you. No problem. Here we go by force. I will take all of you. Men of God. We will go back. Say amen by force. Okay. Somebody saying, there's nobody in that home. We will still go. There are some who are looking at me. They have never gone. Do you know why you have never gone? It's 14 years, 15 years. You have seven children. You have never gone. It's contention. Contention. Seven children. You have never gone. Contention. That is a robber. The devil does not want you to go and bless your marriage because it is not blessed until you go and do something in that home. Somebody is hearing what I'm saying. You are saying, oh, 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 hey, my friend. Corona is not the issue. Go and pay dowry. Somebody is saying, pastor, you are talking about light. That is one of the light and the glory. Your glory will never shine until you have paid your dowry. You didn't know that. Which shining? There has to be a, you have Make a commitment of the covenant by going to the parents. You can't have six, five children and you've never gone there. You are not carrying any glory. In fact, there is no respect over your life. All right, man of God, it doesn't matter how you look at me. I was given a body to contend with anybody who tries to contend. Any way you come, I will come with you. <laughs> Any way you come. If you come with judo, we will judo. If you come with boxing, we will box. I'm ready. Why? I am also going to contend until you pay dowry. Say amen by force. All right, somebody say, continue, leave that place. Good, I'm going now. Glory is the value that signifies God's presence in your life. Glory is the value that signifies that God is in your life. Joshua, they were contending because he came into the presence of God and the enemy was also there because there's something Joshua carried. There's something you carry. That's why he's following you. That's why in the morning, Pastor Kevin said, check out what you wear. Because look at it. He was wearing some clothes. Look at verse 2. I'll show you something. He says, and the Lord said to Satan, I rebuke you. That's why I'm telling you, any day you enter into the presence of God, it doesn't matter what Satan is doing. It is Satan who will be rebuked. All this Satan, even the Lord had chosen Jerusalem, rebuke you. It's not this a brand plucked out of fire. That's why when I tell you shout fire, it's because you're a fire brand. Verse 3, it says, Now Joshua was clothed with filthy garments and stood before the angel. There's something filthy that is causing the glory of God not to come in your life. 
filthy garment. Gossip is a filthy garment. Anger is a filthy garment. I'm talking to somebody. This is how you are that the glory of God will never find you. And this is how you can be that the glory of God will be attracted to you. I'm talking to somebody. Check out. And he said it's a garment. Garment. Joshua, high priest with filthy garment. There's something filthy which is causing the glory of God not to abide in your life. Something filthy. You have to now go back to God. God, what is this that is filthy? You also ask God, is there anything filthy in my life? Like it was with David. Lord, come inside. Check me out, in and out. If there's any wicked way in me, remove it and let your glory come upon my life. That's how you are with God. He never lost any war because he always went with the glory of God. Moses knew it. That's why he said, you are asking me to lead the children of Israel out of this bondage. Then I cannot go without your presence. What was God's presence? The glory of God went with them in the wilderness. That's why the operation of the wilderness was very easy for the children of Israel. Because they carried the presence of God. You are easily attacked without it. You are easily a victim without the glory of God. Then something happened. Now Joshua was clothed. These are the things, if somebody removes them, what will happen? The glory of God will come down in your story and your life. I don't know who I'm talking to. That bitterness is a bad, filthy garment. Unforgiveness is a filthy garment. Complacency and double-double life is a filthy garment. Somebody is full of offense. You think now that anybody will be, yeah, and people will, uh, will, I don't know. You, you, when you are ever in offense, I tell you something. You look horrible. There are people that they are the marketplace of offense. If there's any offense anywhere, that is the person they look for to put all offenses there. Everything to anything is offending you. You are ever offended. Is you, is you. Offense. Filthy garment. Pride. Arrogance. Filthy garment. Romans 3.23. For look at it. All of us have all come short of the glory of God. So if these things are in your life, you fall short of the glory of God. When offense is there, when disobedience is there, when bitterness, when unforgiveness is there, you fall short of the glory of God. First Samuel chapter 4 verse 21. I'll go faster now. Somebody saying, I thought that now is going to prophesy glory. I'll show you how glory comes. It's not by prophecy. First Samuel chapter 4, verse 21 and 22. If you don't write notes, I know in a short while who you will become. Because nobody will note you. If you don't go back to hear this, go and read it yourself. I pity you. Church these days is you must go when you carry what to write and live there with some write-up. Very important. Go and prove what was being said by writing down to go and check. Check the Berean Christians. They were writing Christians. May this be a Berean church. Writing notes. Go check. Read again. I'll show you why. The glory of God is not coming in your life because you have no nothing, nothing, nothing. What does he say? And this was a child born. And she named the child Ichabod. Why was this child named Ichabod saying that glory is departed from Israel? Because the ark of God was taken away and because of her father-in-law and her husband. Verse 22. What does it say? 
He says, and she said, the glory is departed from Israel, for the ark is of God is taken away. Any time you see this glory, it's because the presence of God has departed from your life because there's something filthy where the presence of God will never stay. Filthiness. Filthiness. The reason why you don't sing anymore, there's a reason. The reason why you don't, you don't serve God with enthusiasm, with your joy, without joy, you're just like there. The reason why those things are not happening, the reason why you can't praise God as it were, the reason why your movement even to the presence of God is one thing, is because something has left your life. The reason why Today you're not evangelizing. You're not talking about anything about Jesus. Who told you you can't talk about Jesus because people have put face marks? Who told you you can't win souls? You never you win any soul, any at all. You don't have the glory of God. That's why you are quiet and mom. The devil blocked your life. Can't say anything about him. Now, you don't give anymore. Now your giving is limited. Don't you see right now? There is no prophet offering which has come because of the way I'm going. If I start prophetic, they will come. I declare you will be risen up today. Amen. You think that's the way you carry glory? You'll be running now to drop. I've never seen a time when I'm teaching and you see somebody say amen and they come with prophet offering. Hide your why. Angalia say. Lakini when I start now, I command fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, you will produce money. You like cartoon programs. And if you check probably even the thing you are bringing. The color, I know it. Light brown, brown. I know the color. Even if you squeeze it, I can see the color in the spirit. of God. That's why it is always brown. After today, it will change color. You didn't say amen because you don't like it. Alright. No problem. I said after today, it will change color. It will change the figure. Oh, your amen is low. Today, I like this. I will be just teaching like this. Prophecy is cheating you. Let me tell you the truth. There are some things you're not doing anymore now. Do you know why? The glory of God is absent. You're not giving anymore. The glory of God has left you because the time you give glory, glory comes on you. May the light of the glory of God be restored back to your life. Can I hear better? Amen. What are the symptoms of lost glory? What is the symptoms? Sicknesses have symptoms. As, as symptoms is not a disease. So anytime you hear symptoms of pain in your knees, does not mean you have malaria. You didn't hear what I'm saying. So when you hear some pain, that is a symptom. That is ishara kwamba ineza kuwa. So the devil puts more symptoms. Analeta pia kichwa kidogo ina kuma kidogo. Why have a headache? He closes your, your mouth. Then he brings you to cough twice. Then he tells you now. What do you think that is? Hey. This one. I don't know whether I should call it uh, malaria or is it uh, corona? Hey. Then he says, eh. Then now he closes your nose. He says, what do you think? 
This one now. This one now, this thing has arrived. The devil is playing games and you are playing with him. He puts another thing. Now he sits on your chest. He has not put anything. He just sat there. Now you feel heavy. You can't do like this. When you do like this, you I'm finished. When, then he tells you, what do you think? Hey, I'm finished. Hey, you're finished. Okay, wait, I'm coming. So he goes and he brings what will finish you. Because you said, you are finished. Somebody says, you know this one. This one is, what do you think? The devil will never tell you the name of the thing he'll give you. It is you who will say the name and he's go, he has a store full of them. So you say, hey, by these symptoms, this one of mine is pneumonia. Say, wait, I'm bringing it. And he comes to the pneumonia and says, this is the one you are saying. Take. Pa, and there you are. Pneumonia has arrived. Who said it? You. Hey, this is corona. Let me just go for measurement now. Let me see what happens. When you go there, they'll find corona plus, plus, plus. It is you who said. He's contending. So when he's contending, you also contend. When there's headache, you say, Satan, shut up. I've been given power. Who told you? Who is landing on my head? Which bird is that? Carry your load. Go back to center now. I'm counting one, two, three. If you do like that, you won't see it. It's gone. You see, eh? that one knows scripture. Now I'm finished. Oh, now we are gone. Hey, I don't have money this week. This is what do Satan will say. What do you think? You say, I don't know. This, I don't know whether it is, it is, it is luck. Which one do you say? And if you don't say quickly, it makes you sell your bed. You will sell your bed. Then it tells you, what do you think? You know, now you'll be sleeping on the floor. You're saying, hey, no, 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 no. Then somebody blesses you with, the, with the, this mkeka ya kutoka nini. Then you say, let me wait. You say, what do you think? You now sell your flat screen. Then Satan says, what are you seeing? He says, I'm finished. I think it's poverty. I'm bringing it. That thing you said is the thing you see. It is contention to remove your glory. Kuna vitu wauna kwa sababu uliongea. Ukasema. Nimeisha. Ukasema. Mini maskini. Ukasema. Hivi ndio vile inavyokuwa katika boma yetu nyumbani. It does not mean the things that happen to your brother will happen to you. It does not mean the things that happen to your father will happen to you. You are supposed to stand and refuse. They died below 35. But I will die when I want. I will live to frustrate you Satan. Ukikata, umekata. Listen, it is your glory that is under contention. Never say I'm finished. You didn't hear what I'm saying. Never say I'm finished. Never say sugar is finished. I swear, it's finished. I swear. So when you put spit on your mouth and your finger, then do like this and then do like this. What does that mean? That even God knows it is finished. And God can never allow. When you carry God's glory, nothing will ever be finished in your story. You didn't hear that. When you carry his glory, hakuna mahali watu wanasema umekwisha, kwisha, unasema nani? Nani? Even if you are remaining with one trouser, your mouth is saying I have trousers. No, see, I'm tumba. Umevaya I'm tumba, lakini wewe, kilo naona, niza itali. This side, they're not hearing me. Say, you don't say, you don't agree. Never agree with the devil. That's an enemy. Never agree with what he's saying. He's contending with your glory. Am 
Anasema wewe hauta wewe hutavuka. Eh? Vuka nini? Ask him, vuka wapi nini? Umes, nani amesema? They can even use people to say some things, right? Your relative has told you how many things? Your certain friends, even unfriendly ones, how many things have they said? Here they laugh with you, here they go and say things against you. And they're the ones telling you. No matter what they say, don't go and fight. You're fighting for what? This thing is not physical. This thing is spiritual. It's the mouth. Contention with the mouth. David contended with Goliath with what? Mouth. Speech. Tell the devil, you can't take my glory. It's not possible. Neither will I die with this disease. Never. Fanya vitu. Never. Satan, we at a small headache. You can't even wake up in the morning to go and pray. You can't wake up now early to come to church. Now we, we you came, why did you come late? Hey, Leo, Leo, hey. Leo, nimeuma na kichwa. I even slept a bit. Ndiyo mana nilikuja sa saba, badele sa tatu. Uongo yako yu. Aggression is the pathway to manifestation and progression. Satan, unafikiri wewe peke yako na unapigo vita. Even me, I can wake up in the morning. Sometimes my legs can't move. Me. Hey! I say what? Satan, you are a liar. I put them down and I go to the bathroom. And when I go to the bathroom, I don't take hot shower. That day, you attack the Satan attack me. Even if it is raining ice outside, I will not take hot shower. I want to prove to him. I will take cold shower. Kill me now. I'm taking cold shower now. Kill me. And I'm going to church. Where? 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 The glory of God is about science and medicines. Things is above. God said, "Let there be, and there was." It's above. It is depending on your faith. I'm talking to somebody. Oh, I'm wasting your time. Sorry. Huh? Uh, God's glory is above. The day you will discover the glory of God, utaongea, mbaka shetani atasema, I've left you. I didn't know now you're intelligent. Unamambia, did you know that the, what I carry, you have never seen it. I've been called to show forth the glory of God, not death and suffering. What is this you are doing to me? Here. I am not a candidate of this thing, of my village. What's the name of your village? Tell him. descendants of you what? Which what? Descendants of what? Which descendant are you? It's because you don't know. Oh, I am a descendant. Descendant of where? What? You don't even know where you came from and where you're going. That's why you're suffering the things of your descendants. Now you're very quiet. Eh? Bring prophet offering. I continue. <laughs> which is a, if I catch you, which descendant? Descendant of which one? The day I catch you, I will deal with you. Descendant. You are the descendants of Jesus. That's why that lineage and the things that happened in that lineage must happen to you. Oh, easy, V2. You are just collapsing from nowhere. The way your father collapse the way your grandfather collapsed you want to collapse that way not when you are here you can't collapse the way your grandfather collapsed shaking like this is he you with the glory of God Satan shut up collect your things leave my body now I count one two three you know you've never talked to Satan if you do something like this you will you will think where has this confidence come from You, you hear something. Hey, a child of God that carries glory and something is running in the roof. Now I'm practical lessons now. Satan. A child of God that is carrying glory will not enter blanket more. Child of God will remove blanket. You say, hey, who is contending? Run again. 
You know, you, I'm telling somebody here. Where we unaingia kwa blanket alafu sasa hapo naruka fire for fire for fire for fire fire die then when they run rrr, club first offering <laughs> they run again rrr, he say hey, hey, hey. father let the apostle pray for me now i'm not there when you hear you rise up Lift your voice. Who is that? Come again. I know somebody saying, Pastor, my friend, that is your level. It's not my level. I have also my level. Listen, let me tell you something. We are children of God. First of all, I'm a child of God before I'm a pastor. I'm talking to somebody. You hear them crying inside I said, on your door. And then you're just sleeping. You're saying, oh, Jesus Christ, if you can just do something. Do something. And Jesus is saying, do something. Use your mouth. Hey, use your mouth. Hey. You're afraid of cats. Cats crying outside. Ooh. You're afraid of cat. You even know the size of cat. Your head itself is bigger than the cat. Run to the door, says, who is that? You think they can come back again? There are some eyes that are looking at me and say, who, who would do that? Me. Me to do what? Open door. And talk to cat. Dogs. Ooh. Then you, you, th you are saying, no, that's not dog. And you know it is dog. You think that's hyena. Hyena in town, in your land here, hyena, where did it come from? <laughs> How can hyena come to your land estate? Hyena, it can't, they are, you think they are stupid like you? Hyena, you are saying sound at that one. That sound. What of you is a lion? Lion can come there to look for you. Lion, never. Open door. He said, eh? what of if there was a thief standing? You, see, you have too many excuses. That's why you have nothing. Too many excuses. You are too fearful. Happened on a turukia by fire, by thunder. Do that thing in your house when you hear the cat and the dog. When they are walking on your roof. Shut up! This is not a place to walk on. Satan is contending with you. Am I talking to somebody? That's why you hear those things. That's why there's rumors. That's why there's gossip. Satan is contending with some people to gossip you out of your glory. That's why you must rise up. When they gossip you, that is means uh, you are ahead of them. Continue with your journey. Why are you turning around? Oh, I think they are gossiping me. That's why now you are, you are offended. You don't do God's work. You don't come. I think I'm offended. Eh? One symptom that you have lost glory is dishonor. One, another symptom, shame. Another symptom, stress. Because stress is your glory. Another symptom, lost glory, debt, daily. Sickness, rejection, symptom, stagnation, umekwama, bitterness, uchungu, aitoki. Confusion, umechanganyikiwa, aujui cha kufanya. Consistent errors, when you are doing mistakes, makosa, ufanya hii, ni makosa, urudi hivi, makosa, kila kitu, makosa, ndoa, makosa. 
That is a sign. Your glory has disappeared. It must come back by force. Backwardness, condemnation, signs of lost glory and forgiveness. Where you actually what? Where in the when come by again? So if I tell you what is glory, glory is the opposite of what I said. Glory is to rest, is to shine, is brilliance. Glory is praise. Glory is adoration. Glory is, is, is splendor. Matthew chapter 17 verse 2. The glory of God is coming on somebody. Glory is beauty. God's beauty is different from man's beauty. Glory is prosperity. Glory is triumph. You are winning battles. No matter what. Ata kama ni usiku kwa ndoto, unashinda. Ata kama ni kwa maono, visions, you are winning. Ata kama ni kwa ndoa, you are winning. Wherever you are, means the glory of God is around you because everything you are winning, 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 winning. If you are not, something has happened. There's something that has been wrong. Glory means direction. You know where to go. Glory means success. Somebody's going to be succeeding. From today, glory is light. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Glory is light. Everything around you is correct. That is the glory of God. Haggai chapter 2 verse 9 is going to happen to somebody's life. Haggai chapter 2 verse 9. He said, the glory of the latter house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give peace, says the Lord of Hey, peace! Kuna mtu ana amani leo. Kuna regeshe wa amani. Listen, can I prophesy to you this word? To, to from now, the glory that you had before, the one that is coming on you now, that one that is now coming, when the world is so dark, the world is dark, things are wayward, the glory coming to you according to Haggai chapter 2 verse 2 is greater than the one you have ever seen in the name of Jesus. That word cannot fall to the ground. It will show up in somebody's story. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 3. What does it say? Jesus being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself piped out our sins. Jesus himself is the brightness of the glory of God. When he comes into your life, will you be dull? No. Bright. Glory comes back to you. Right now, God is about to come back to bring a greater glory. He's bringing it back to you. Do you know that the measure of glory that you carry is determined by the amount of knowledge you carry? Huh? Let me go to the contemporary. The amount of purpose you carry, certificates you carry, determines your glory. Certificate has another glory. Diploma has another glory. Higher diploma has another glory. A degree has another glory. Master has another glory. Doctors, doctors has another glory. PhD has another glory. If you have this purpose, it determines your glory. Am I talking to somebody? Oh, maybe I'm lying. Huh? It determines what? Your glory. It determines your salary. It determines your placement, your place of work, what? Your paper. That is the glory that you carry. The glory of God is above those ones. Somebody didn't hear me. The glory of God is above certificates, diplomas, and PhDs and masters. The glory of God is a maker of men. The glory of God can make you have something that will make you employ a PhD man. You didn't hear me. I'm talking to somebody. The glory of God. That's why you must seek for it. Where did I lose? Go back for it. So the measure of your knowledge in the word of God determines how much you shine. The measure. That's what determines your shining. Because that's where you get the light. All right, let me, can I give you an example? How many know the pressure lamp? Huh? How many have used the pressure lamp? Hello? 
Jiu mna tumia ginini nyangili? Nema nyangili ama nyangili? Naitua nini? He? Hile uweze kuweka pressure. Mwapuwe yako tu kikuja hapo. Mezima. But pressure lamp. Inatumia, inatumia nini? Lit, lit what? He? Simuonge, tunitasikia. Inatumia spirit. Na kale ka kita mpakake na hituwa? Umesao. Ndiyo mana unasaulika. The dhaka kita mpaka kuna jina yake, sindio? Once you have tied it there, you put pressure, sindio? Put pressure, 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 pressure. Unachilia spirit. Iko na style pia. Ju uspo chunga, imeenda na uso za watu wengi. There's a, there's a way you do it. The more pressure you put, what is the outcome? I didn't hear you. The more it, when it goes down, what do you do? You put what? With your mouth. You pump it. So you press. It glows. The more you put the word of God in your life, the more you become glorious. Kuna kaka kidogo ya Sunday. Ndio maana upande moja uso yako ni black na ingine. Sasa mtajui kama we ni amaphrobite ama wewe ni nini. Nobody understands you because they don't know because they see black this side superfluous things because you are under pressure. The word of God in your mouth and in your life is what makes you fire. Increase the pressure of the word of God in your life. I'm don't, I don't know what I'm talking about. Did you hear in the morning? Genesis chapter 1, verse 16 to 18. The sun has a great light and it shines by day. The moon has a lesser light. It shines by night. Now, what to tell me? Why should the sun be in the day? Because even daytime, actually there is darkness without the sun. Oh, you didn't hear me. So it means the day is also dark. That's why you must get the word of God to go out in the day. That's the true light that came from heaven. The word. In the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was God. May you have a greater light. I didn't hear you. Amen. What you secure when you time I go. So you look and say, hey, he didn't come with his own. He was outside. The stomach was like this. <laughs> when he left, it was small. When he came back, it was big. He, when he went, he was black. When he came back, he was a brown, tall, huge man. Isn't it? The coat was not even fitting well. Because that's not the person we saw when he went. So when we went outside now, we were demoralized. This is when he, he saw us. He, he knew us because we are the same yesterday, today, and forever. <laughs> Do you know why the devil catch you? So, I will Sasa nakujua. Ata kifunga macho. Ukimambia, Peter, you kwapi? He knows you. But this one, when you have God's word filled in your life, even the devil forget, looks like this. He says, this is not the one. From today, somebody's weight is changing. I'm seeing the weight of glory coming in your life. I said the weight of glory is coming in your life. From today, you'll challenge the enemy. He will not find you where he finds you. In the name of Jesus, he will not hit you where he was hitting you before. You will not say the things again before because now something is coming. The glory of God. Those who are worthy are the ones who are worthy. Those who are wordful are the ones who are worthful. The consumption of the word, which is the light of God, determines the glory you carry. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 17 to 18. Go and read it. Take it from God's word because that's what will increase your weight of glory.
weight of glory. You must encounter that glory. It is only in the word of God. Your weight determines your classification. Did you hear that? Your weight determines what? Your classification. You are classified by your weight. Remember, in boxing, there are what you call classifications. Classification number one is what? Feather weight. Classification number two is what? Feather light weight. Classification number three in boxing is called light heavy. Classification number four is what? Heavy. Weight. Class five is what? Super. Oh, you didn't do boxing. Sorry. Super heavyweight. Even when it's coming, he can't go like the others. But featherweight. Even his movement is very fast. But heavy. When you are heavyweight in the spirit, the devil does not scare you. In fact, when he sees you, say, that's not my weight. A featherweight will never fight with a heavyweight. Is that true? Lightweight at Akuja. <laughs> You'll be hitting, but heavyweight. Only one. Only one will be knockout. You'll hit, 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 but only one. Only one. You want me to show you if I hit him like this? It's my weight and me. He won't wake up again. You have to come and uh, give him some air. From today, any devil who has sent anything to your story will find a heavyweight. Can I hear a better amen than that? I say you'll find a heavyweight. Revelations 10.10 10 gives you that scripture for weight. What does it say? It says, and I took the little book out of the angel's hand and I ate it up and it was in my mouth sweet as honey. But it went and done. It got bitter, but it increased my weight. Listen, go and increase your weight. Wengi saizi mejaja kwa sababu mekama nyumbani unakunywa chochoto nataka anytime. Wengi say, you're not the size you I saw you when we left here. Now you're big, your nose is big. Some people are very big now. You know why? You have lost your spiritual weight which determines what happens in life. Saizi umejazwa. Shetan nasema kula kabisa. Sasa sikila kitu kwa ramu. What are you fasting for? Unawacha chakula kwako. Hati wei ni mjinga inagani? Kwa nyumba yako. Kwa sababu yule jamaa ya microphone anasema fast. Jinga. Kula! Ni yako. Wani atakuja hapa sangapi. Chua, 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 chua. Nikisema pray! You start coughing. Mate naanza kutoka. You can't wake up fast, fast. Your influence in life is not determined by the name and the position you carry, but by the depth of God's word. True story. It's not your position, it's not your name, it's not nothing. It's the depth of God's word. So how do you provoke glory? Number one, lift up the word of God. Somebody's afraid of time. Don't worry. We are getting our weight. When you stole Mandazi, why did you leave it? You left with it. Lift the word of God. Let the consumption be more. Eat more of God's word than food. Joshua chapter 1 verse 8. This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth. Gossip, nini, nini, squeeze muna unge. Neno la mungu haipo. Romans 12, 2. Write them down. Matthew 15, verse 15 and 16. Second Peter chapter 1, verse 19. I'm, I'm not reading them. I'm giving you to go and read. Jeremiah 15, verse 16. Put them there. You go and read. 
Job 23, verse 12. Yeah? Number two is power in prayer. Move inside prayer. You never come out without prayer. Colossians 4, 2. Dedication. To prayer is what will take you out of your predicament. James chapter 5, verse 15 to 16. James 5, 15 to 16. I'm finishing. Finally, how do you provoke glory? The force of faith. Hebrews chapter 11. From verse 1, the three Hebrew boys were in the fire. We had it in the morning because of the weight they carried. The amount of word of God. The word of God cannot be burned. It is fire itself. And then when you carry it, then you are fireproof. Somebody didn't hear what I'm saying. You are burning because when it caratas, you are not fire. The three Hebrew boys knew who they were. Elijah knew who he was. Akasema mimi na nyinyi wote 450 prophets kujeni tukutane hapa wewe ushaambia nani hivyo go to your village and tell them all of you strong men of the village find me here I'm waiting for you Kuambia ningojeni hapa weke ni sacrifice I'll come back when you are defeated The day you say that you will see God you are afraid because you have seen what the strong men have done to your people It is only you that they will do nothing the glory is coming back to you Faith is all you need to have all your needs met. It is the only currency that the enemy and the language the enemy can hear. Faith. Never say anything out of faith. That will kill your glory. Say something out of the word of God. Say it whether the devil likes it or not. Whether you feel like it or not. Say I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Say it. I will live the number of my days. I will fulfill it. Say it. I am blessed. Say it. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made according to the word. Who is saying my legs are crooked? Who is saying my legs are small? Is God not an enough engineer to make my legs? He made them that way. Can you now be able to say that the potter made a mistake? No. So who told you? Inaanza kujidunga shindano ndiyo vitu zingine zikuwe kubwa. Are you a cook? When a cook? Ulikuwa kuku siku gani? Kuku ndi na vimbishwa vimbishwa. Ndi ukiendo nasema nataka hii. Kumbo na kuni wa madawa za mpuzi. Na vimbisha nini? Well, you think God doesn't know what he was doing with you? You will not walk. The way you are walking, you will not walk before. Before, were you not walking nicely? Nicely? Bumbisha one. You will now not be able to walk. Because now you are not uh, the weight that God gave you. He's a structural engineer. He has structured you. Live your life. Carry the glory of God. Watcha kufunga fungia watu mavitamba. You want to confuse me. The things I'm saying are things people do. No, na muta me funga vitamba. Ona fikiri ani e kumbe si e ni vitamba. Nana na kuwa vitamba. Rise to your feet, shout and jump and shout and shout and shout and say fire. The glory of God is coming in your life. Somebody didn't hear that. Huh? Did you jump? It's because the glory of God is missing. That's why you didn't jump. Can somebody jump and shout fire? I see the glory of God coming into your life. Can you say a big amen? Shout a louder amen. Do you want to pray that glory to come back? Because it must come back. Anything which was filtering, blocking it, anything must now live your life. Am I talking to somebody? Are you ready for that? Receive grace to pray this one, two, three prayers. In the name of Jesus. Listen to me. That child was born and he says he was an Ikapo, which means the glory of God had departed. Every glory that departed is coming back right now. Today, from today, let the word of God be your source of food and income. Go inside the word of God. It will glorify you. 
you are not like this before. When food comes into your life, you look different than when the glory of God comes in life. You look different with the word of God inside you than the food inside you. Food, you still look weak. God's word, you look strong. Shout and say, arrows of the Ichabod. Fired against my life. Fired against my life. Fired against my glory. Fired against my glory. Catch fire. Catch fire. Backfire. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Arrows of the Ichabod. In the mighty name of Jesus. That have fired Christ against my glory. Backfire by fire. So be fired against my glory. The glory catch fire. Back fire to your center. In the mighty name of Jesus. See Katama Boom. See Kidibi Bakatama. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The arrows of the Ikabon that are fired against my glory. Back fire to the center. Arrows. Back fire now. To clear my glory. To clear my story, but for arrows on the foundation, ancestral arrows, arrows of sin, arrows of this weakness, fire now, fire to clear and finish my glory. But fire my fire in the name of Jesus, pray the prayer. Against my life, against my glory, against my death, backfire in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, pray, 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 pray. We are going up in the name of Jesus Christ. We are going up, we are going up in the name of Jesus. Those arrows, arrows, there's an arrow that wants to disclorify your life. As you pray, I see the arrow going back to send in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, that fire now to your center. In the name of Jesus, that arrow that is attacking your life, that arrow attacking my destiny, backfire. Yes, to your in Jesus' in mighty name. Jesus. Amen. Wow, you want to pray? I want to see excitement of prayer because I said one of the tools to draw back the glory of God is what? Prayer. Prayer. It won't come except you are praying. Is that so? As you pray, I see God's glory coming back to your life. Amen. There's a special appetite I'm seeing that is coming back to somebody, right? Amen. Appetite for God's word. Amen. Is coming back to your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Shout and say, in this battle of glory. In this battle of glory. Shout again and say, in this battle of glory. In this battle of glory. Arise, O Lord. Arise, O Lord. Contend. Contend. With all my contenders. With all my contenders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voices to clap your hands. In the battle of glory, Lord. Battle of glory, Lord. Arise and contend with my contenders. They don't want to see your glory. They don't want to see you lifted up. They don't want to see you promoted. They don't want to see you blessed. My Father, arise in the battle of glory. Contend with my contenders. Contend with my contenders. Those who do not want me to be blessed, contend with them. Saying I will never make it, contend with them. Those who are saying I will never go anywhere, contend with them. Those who are saying I will never be married, contend with them. Those who are saying I'll never rise up, contend with them. Any power raising their voice to contend with my story, contend on oh Lord arise. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. This week, yes. your favor shall come. Amen. Because God will go ahead to contend for you. Amen. He will contend with your contenders. Amen. I see some contenders are witches, wizards. Yes. Some are your aunties, your uncles. Yes. This week, God will contend Amen. with them. Amen. Did you hear what I'm saying? Yes. God will content with them and when God is contending it's dangerous than you yes. I see God show up for you Amen. do you know 
That your glory is somewhere. Yes. Hello? Yes. Your glory is what? Sir. Is somewhere. And where it is that it was taken from you, now it has to come back, isn't it? Yes. And very acceleratedly. They have hidden it. I'm talking about spiritual things. I'm going to show you one day. People who have lost their glories and their stars are non entities. No matter what they do, they can't go out until it comes back. Today you're going to speak to your glory. Yes. Wherever it is, it knows your voice. Yes. It knows your address. Yes. Anything that is blocking your address yes. right now, I command fire to consume it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There's somebody here. You're getting a surprise this week. Amen. Amen. Because when your glory begins to see you, it begins to come. Amen. Amen. Whatever is blocking it, catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And your release yes. is right now. Amen. Amen. Right now. Amen. You want to pray this prayer? Yes. Shout and say, my glory. My glory. Say it again. My glory, my glory. My glory, my glory. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Come back in the name. Clap your hands and command it to come back. Command your glory. My glory, where are you? Where are you? Since I was born, where are you? Come out. Come out of that covenant. Come out of that border. Come out of that village. Come out of that altar. Come now. My glory, what are you waiting for? Come now. I command you release my fire. Come now. In the name of Jesus, command it, command it, command it to come back. 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 Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. A lot of people are displaced. And this afternoon, I declare. Yes. There is your right position in life. Yes. As you live today. Yes. I release apostolic anointing. Amen. That will take you back to your rightful position. Amen. In your family. Amen. In your home. Amen. In your place of work. Amen. In your business. Amen. Your right position. Amen. Commensurate salary. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The times are difficult. Yes. But I decree your promotion. Amen. The times are crazy. Yes. But I decree you are rising. Amen. The moments are so much, you know, difficult. Yes. But I decree. Yes. You are returning with your testimony. Amen. The glory of God will go before you. Yes. Make everything straight in your life. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are in the world. Yes. Watching from the world. Yes. I declare restoration of your glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Wherever you're watching from, inside here, outside, everywhere you are, yes. I declare the glory of God back in your system in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree whatever that made you to stop in your journey to destiny, yes. may the glory of God take you back in your destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare Yes. Wherever they say you will stop her, yes. I take apostolic announcement yes. and pronouncement yes. over your destiny. Yes. Begin to go forward in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen. When you lost your glory yes. and they robbed you of your health, yes. now there's sickness, there's disease. Yes. Be Your glory, yes, and the glory is financial glory. Yes, you've lost it. God is saying, I'm still concerned. Yes, your financial glory is coming back. Amen. Is there anybody you lost a job? Lift your hand because of the season you lost your job or you 
lost a place you go nafanya kibarua just raise it up now in the name of jesus zetosh katala prahada baba kena mano zuza kobash kela rihana baba father in the name of jesus i raise my hand yes i declare lord everyone that has lost their place because of darkness yes. because of any reason from darkness yes. i command light over that darkness amen i command light over that darkness amen in the name of jesus amen every power that denied you a place yes. i command now now go back and receive it like in the name of jesus amen i command doors open now in the name of jesus amen i command doors to open over you in the name of jesus amen heaven to open over you in the name of jesus amen heaven to open over you in the name of jesus 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 i declare your hands loose in the name of jesus amen every application receive right now break through in the name of jesus amen receive fire in the name of jesus amen receive your job in the name Somebody has lost it. He was robbed of your help. Yes. Now there's something with the name inside your system. Lift your hand. They give them names. They say it's pressure. They say it's something. They say they give it complicated names. Those are lies. That's why I'm telling you lift your hand. Because that lie of the devil that is called or drawn to disqualify you or down do something in your life right now must go. Lift Amen. your hands quickly. Kaparato susa kapalato zeketeria. Shakala mayando skuske predia. Rapataka da soso to rakadaba. My father, I lift my hand. Yes. I decree yes. robbery down in the yes. health of these dear ones. Yes. Today, Lord, I command recovery by your glory. Amen. Whatever you put, Lord, cannot be removed by any darkness. Amen. I decree, yes. be restored in your health in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be restored in your health in the name of Jesus. Amen. Every plantation of darkness yes. which my heavenly Father yes. has not planted, yes. be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be uprooted now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Be uprooted in your body. Amen. Uprooted in your system. Amen. Every record of evil. Yes. I command it right now. Cast fire. Amen. Every writing of evil concerning your health. Yes. I break it and nullify by the blood of Jesus. Amen. By the blood of Jesus. Amen. By the blood of Jesus. Amen. Be Anything evil, put your right hand on your chest. It's a plantation. In the name of Jesus. Daddy, I declare that is your healing hand. Yes. Release. Virtues of your glory to heal. Yes. Everyone. Yes. That is oppressed by sickness. Yes. That person may not be here. but i see that person receiving healing amen no matter the disease yes in the name of jesus yes i command a good report amen this is a 24 hour miracle amen 24 hour miracle amen i declare 24 hour miracle amen i declare 24 hour miracle amen i decree a 24 hour miracle amen that disease yes must vamus Amen. Carry your load. Yes. Live now. Live now. Live now. Amen. Live now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Come on. Yes. Come on. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Come on. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. I decree you are healed. Amen. 
And the doctor's report nullified by the blood of Jesus. Amen. I declare you are blessed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. From this service, may this week bring you and draw you favor by glory. Amen. Amen. May your favor be established. Amen. May you be harassed with favor. Amen. Every door you turn to be harassed with favor. Amen. Anywhere they rejected you this week, as the glory of God begins to descend upon your life, yes. may those doors and heavens open above you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree your coming back this Sunday Amen. will be full of testimonies. Amen. Testimonies. Amen. Testimonies. Amen. Testimonies. Amen. Testimonies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What you left yes. behind you yes. as a concern. Yes. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. You left something at home, wherever it is, as a concern. Yes. It was your concern. Yes. I declare yes. apostolic engagement yes. over your concern. Amen. You will find yes. that that thing is no longer a concern in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare it is expired. If you believe it, shout a bigger amen. 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 When you get there, you will find God has solved it. Amen. I say God will have solved it. Amen. God will have solved it. Amen. That land and that rent issue will be solved. Amen. I decree favor of God. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Wherever you are, I don't know whether there's somebody. You agree to all these things, but you're not born again. Oh, these things will not go or will not happen except you enter through the door and the door is Jesus and if you're here and you want to receive Jesus when eyes are open you can receive Jesus wherever you are just lift your hands I'll pray with you you cannot make it without him if you're there just lift up your hand I'll pray with you just there sometimes people have come back after this pandemic issue, after this issue, it's not over yet. But you are not, you've done things, you've done crazy things that you don't even, are not sure even whether you're born again. Wherever you are, if you're there, just lift your hand and pray with you. To you, with holding nothing, with holding nothing. as you go, you are blessed. Amen. Your going and returning is full of testimonies and blessings. Amen. No evil shall find you. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. The glory of God will abide in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That enemy who has been looking for you and eyeing you this week. Yes. It is either they look for you to say sorry or they shall be terminated. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. This week, they must look for you to say sorry or they are going. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The one who has hurt you and your story and your life and your family. This is the week. But if they come back and say, I need your Jesus, they will be rescued. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord increase you. And the Lord lift you. Amen. And may your countenance begin to shine. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Remember, we shall be here on Tuesday. All right? Shalom. Shalom. We shall be here on Tuesday, right? Yes. And then also, we shall be here on Thursday. We shall be where? Yeah. So we'll be here praying together Thursday and Tuesday. So the Tuesday night, uh, Thursday night has been taken back to Friday. So Friday night is when at 10 o'clock I'll meet you there on Facebook Live. But Thursday we shall be present in the house.
house of God, 5.30. We want to leave here for on time to seven latest. And so that's why we are going to be here. We are back in order. So let's just take that order. Those who desired to be always in the house of God, now they are not coming. So 5.30 Tuesday, take it by force. And when Thursday fasting, then we come for our restoration service. We'll take communion when it has come to that time. But the Lord shall show up in the mighty name of Jesus. You can even go and take communion in your house after the service. It's illegal. Yes. You can't be stopped, right? Yes. Take it in your house before you do anything. You'll have prayed. That's the first thing you enter. Take it. Christian. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And lead us. But deliver us. Shout a big. Amen. God bless you and good afternoon.